I'm joined by Cinema Guzzo CEO Vincenzo Guzzo to talk about Quebec's Bill 96, the province's reform on language laws. Thank you so much for joining us, Vincenzo. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How will Bill 96, the strengthening of French language rules, affect your business and exacerbate the issue of labor shortages? Well, I look, I, let's get something clear. I don't think Bill 96 will strengthen anything. I mean, if you want to strengthen the French language, I think what you've got to do is promote the French language. I think you've got to uh, put pressure on Ottawa to promote it across the country to make Canada truly what it's supposed to be, which is a bilingual country. So how will the new laws actually sort of affect you on the business side of things? And how do you feel about this after, you know, two years of challenges in the pandemic? Right now, I think the problem is that uh, you know, and I say this on a regular basis in my offices, I said, you know, I don't understand where people have gone. You know, where have people gone? I mean, it, it just, I don't get it. I mean, we've got the shortage of employees that I don't understand. Uh, uh, so right now our theaters cannot open the regular business hours they would have opened before the pandemic. So for example, I have uh, one theater in particular open seven days a week at 12 o'clock. I can only open it three days a week at, seven, at 12 o'clock. The other days, I don't have enough staff to do it. So where they've gone, I don't know. But what I can tell you is that if you're trying to attract people to come to Quebec because it's a great place to live, it's a great you know standard of living, and it's et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the fact that you're telling people that they're not allowed to talk amongst themselves in a non-work environment or in a non-work related discussion in whatever language they want, it's very particular to me. You know, And, and I like that the premier pointed out that, you know, Anglophones will be still be able to get English service. Well, I got a complaint this weekend, right? So this new law was just enacted, and I think it comes into effect today. Um, and, and I got a complaint from a French customer who went to one of my English-only theaters. And believe it or not, I thought the complaint was going to be about staff, but it wasn't. He says, I got there. I got served in French when I bought my ticket. I got served in French at the concession counter and I got served in French where to go. But the movie was in English. Yeah, the movie's in English. That theater's an English theater. Like, sorry. Yeah, but with Bill 96, what does Bill 96 have to do with what kind of movies we're going to play? So what do you want the government to do for you? How can they help the sort of situation you're dealing with in terms of labor shortages? Well, I don't think this government can do anything. I, I think this government's only thinking about winning their election. And, and, and so I think we've seen the two years of pandemic, uh, 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 how they managed. And the truth of the matter is I expect zero from the provincial government. Uh, uh, I don't know what the Canadian government can do apart from, you know, I guess, let more people in. Uh, but like I said, if Quebec's going to start pushing people away and saying we don't want, you know, non-Francophone uh, speaking immigrants, it's going to be complicated. The other thing is, I don't know exactly what the impact of this Bill 96 is going to be on migrant workers. Like I said, to answer your question more directly, I don't think this, I don't think the provincial government is going to do anything to resolve our problems. Thank you so much for joining us, Vincenzo. It's a pleasure.